Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to my latest update for my hashtag 365 days of samples. I didn't do that well this week. I definitely slacked off. I've got to get motivated again. I just go through these phases where some weeks I do really really well and some weeks I don't do quite as well. And this is one of those weeks. So I've only finished four items and honestly all four of them are items that I would not purchase the full size of. The first item I had used previously, this is from Skin Iceland, it's the Hydro Cool Firming Face Gel for smile lines. So they're these little patches that go like on this area around your mouth. They are cooling, they feel nice, I just didn't really think that they did anything, probably because I'm not uh, the, really the target demographic for this, so not an item for me. I finished another sheet mask, this is from the Life brand, it is the Pore Cleansing Facial Sheet Mask, so it had white tea and Canadian willow herb. Um, this was okay, I kind of enjoyed relaxing for 15 minutes. Um, I'm, the last time I'd used a sheet mask, some people said that they had the same issue, were if they stood or sat upright that the mask would move a little bit so I took that opportunity to lie back and kind of relax but I didn't notice that I did anything I mean it felt nice and I was taking that moment to just chill take a breath take a minute but the result was nothing my skin didn't really look any better or really any different at all so not something that I will be purchasing again I I don't know. I don't, if you guys have any sheet masks that you like that have really worked for you, let me know in the comments down below um, what the, that product was and what it specifically did for your skin. I used the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer and Radiance once and then I decided never again. There's probably enough still left in this packet to use once more, but I am telling you, pores, pores, pores. My pores looked massive. And I was just so unhappy. I looked at my face after I put the primer on and like pores that aren't normally visible like down here on my my face were looked massive. Like I always have a little bit of a pore issue around here which certain primers and foundation techniques and stuff can help camouflage but this primer was terrible for emphasizing pores so not worth it. Not worth it at all. And I finally finished the Clarins Shaping Facial Lift Total V Contouring Serum and I'd really been hoping to see something interesting with this serum and I kept using it and it didn't do anything. It wasn't bad but it wasn't good. I had heard that it was supposed to help promote like the contours in your face or something which does sound like a bit of a stretch and a bit of a miracle product but I was just hoping for some something it to do something and it didn't do anything. So I still have a ton of deluxe size products that I'm working through. The two hair products, I have the Bumble and Bumble BB Hair Blow Dry and the Caviar CC Cream from Alterna. Both really like these. I have two sunscreen products, um, Dr. Dennis Gross Dark Spot Sun Defense and the Super Goop City Sunscreen Serum. Still working through these. Um, I still have the clean um, perfume because I actually liked it layered on my skin so I've been testing it out a little bit which is why I didn't rush to put it on the popsicle sticks to use it to freshen up different areas of my house. I just thought that I would play around with it a little bit on my skin because I've been really enjoying it. It's really a different scent. And two eye creams still working away on the Origins Ginseng which I kind of want to give up on because I really don't like it that much and the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair which honestly I've been forgetting to use in the evening. So. Once again, my giant box of samples. And because of all the deluxe size products I still have, I am going to choose foils once again this week. One, two, three, four, five, six, and Seven. All right, so the products I have chosen for this week. The first thing I have here is Maradeso, an all-in-one moisturizer. So it's packaged like this. It's a pretty large foil, if you could even consider it a foil. I have a product from Nude. It is the Perfect Cleansing Oil Face and Eyes. I have a product from La Ossetane. It is the Skin perfecter. I have a Biore nose strip. I have the Fresh Sugar Lip Serum Advanced Therapy. I had used this before and I remember really liking it. So 
I'm happy to have a sample, another sample of that. I have a product from Bosha. It is the Sabaki, Sabuki Cleansing Oil Gel. And lastly, I have a product from Philosophy. It is the Time in a Bottle Serum. So, it's packaged like that here. So I think I have some pretty good products to use again this week. Hopefully the foils will keep me motivated and hopefully I'll be able to finish off some more of those deluxe size products as well. Let me know if you are working with samples in any of your challenges. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.